Yo, what's up, YouTube? We're getting uh, closer to my million followers, right? <laughs> right, so basically I recorded the video, right, originally, and I, I forgot something, like, that's quite important from the the video, uh, which I basically using a pen. We're doing some mathematics. So I got a message on eBay about a week ago asking me to sell this Hitmonchan card for lower price than it was already on there. So my reply back to the person or the living man or living woman that sent me a message requiring to go it for lower price and it's like I'm sorry but the card is cheap as it is cheap as enough as it is right so this is the reason why I'm gonna get into this so you know um gonna use like a bit of a crypto reference in here because I you know it's it's a lot easier right so I did a like a thing I did it the first time right and I missed something so what this what this is yeah is time yeah there's something called time yeah so obviously time is an illusion yeah like time doesn't actually exist yeah but it's what we operate on yeah so like you know we we operate on this 24 hour clock we get up in the next day at so and so so we don't know what you're actually at what actually the real time is you know so anyway regardless of that yeah you got eBay, right? So you got eBay, yeah? Right? Now, on eBay, they're going to take a fee. So if I you sell this card for £28, is what I put it on eBay for, right? And then you sell it, or eBay will take like a £3.50 fee, yeah? Which is going to leave you with £24.50, right? Yeah? Then you've got... Uh, so you go like this, and then you go shipping, yeah? So you got post, right? So shipping, and then you got a bubble mailer, right? The reason why we're doing the video again as well is because we like kind of had an issue in the video, uh, with, like you know things popping up, miners and that, like you know popping up, yeah. So we got uh, we I use two bubble mailers, yeah, because obviously I don't want them getting cracked, and. You know, I use like a strip of fragile tape now, yeah, which obviously you have to pay for fragile tape, right? So your shipping for this card is gonna be two sixty nine for your tracked first class sign for, right? Now best to ship these things first class because you know Royal Mail is a shady company and they like to you know, sometimes lose your stuff, yeah. Uh, so if you can do it first class, more like you can minimize it a little bit, yeah, right? So I use two bubble mailers, which cost me 10p per each. Yeah, so 10p, that's the cost of them, yeah? So that's 20p added on to the 269, which equals 289, yeah? Right, and then you're gonna minus your 289 off this, which is 2161, yeah? 2161, right? Don't forget the time involved is the time that it takes to ship the item, which means uh, traveling, yeah? Traveling to the post office also has a cost, right? It also has a cost, traveling to the post office. Now, if you're using a bike, you're using manual power, yeah? If you're using a car, then you need to factor in your price that it takes you to go around the post office in the car because you might not be local right or you can use like an e-scooter right let's say you got an e-scooter and you fly around on the e-scooter and you go to there well then you've got electricity to charge that yeah so you got electric yeah you know or you might be in walking distance now if you're in walking distance and you walk there and it takes you five minutes then bam you're laughing yeah don't take you two minutes to go and do it right but for all these other ones the, the ship and the time which I didn't add in on the last video or the last scenario is these all have a cost yeah so let's just sh say yeah then you've got the cost of the item that you bought which most people like buy to sell these cards is the reason why I'm making that as a video making this as a part of the video so you got five pound you could have maybe paid for this hitmon champ right um, so say five pound, right? Or you could have got it from a collection. That means if you had it from a collection, yeah, I'm basically stating that it was a personal item. You might have had it for a long time. 
You might have used it, you might have played with it, and you might think, I'm going to grade it and I'm going to sell it so I can get the maximum money for it. Yeah? So then you've also got time, which time comes in a fact again, yeah? Where the time is like, how long are you actually waiting for this item to be graded? You know, this makes it worth it, yeah? So then also you've got your, t your, your slabbing, yeah? So, you know, you've got your grading fee, yeah? So you've got grading, yeah? Which, therefore, you've got a grading fee. Everyone knows in the fact of business, yeah, or anything like that, that the cost is projected onto the buyer, right? So if a company buys hats, it, I don't know, £8 each, and they sell them for £24 after they've put all the prints on, they've had someone package them up, they've had someone box them, they've had to pay someone to do that, right? So they, therefore, need a markup so they can make, cover the cost of the hats, cover the cost of the actual, like, um, the person working at the business, yeah, or the building, Right, blah blah blah. So you know, you, f you see your grading right now. Your grading right now for CGC is fifteen pound. Right, that's also your grading price now for PSA. Yeah, for well, PSA is charging hundred dollars a card now. Yeah, which is like eighty quid. So eighty pound a card. Right. So that's what PSA is charging right now. So you know you got fifteen pound. So you minus fifteen pound off this. Right. You're going to be left with one pound. No. Uh, did I take that off? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Alright, um... Wait a minute. I actually had something wrote down here, and I, I like... This is what I'm going off, yeah, and for some reason, there's like, um... There's something missing, yeah? So, alright, so 15... Alright, yeah, yeah, right, so what you do... Oh, alright, hold on, one sec. Uh, minus 15, right. This was right, yeah? So, 661. Right, so, so 15 pound is 661. Yeah, so you're like, left with 661. Right, if you paid fifteen pound for your for your your price. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I forgot. That's what I forgot. This is what I was missing. The five pound. Yes, the five pound. Because that was the card price. Yeah, that was what I just missed. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking I'm missing something here. Right. So if you paid fifteen pound for grading, you'd be left with a total of one pound sixty one. Right. One pound sixty one after selling this card. That's if you paid fifteen pounds for CGC as today, All right? Obviously, I paid probably ten. Yeah, you know, so I'm making probably six pounds sixty-one. So this is the price if you're paying ten pound per grading, which now we know that that's not true. So therefore, we have to go off today's rates. Yeah, which is fifteen because of inflation and Bank of England shitting on the mandem. Yeah, by uh, forever printing money all the time. This is why I invest in Bitcoin. I'm telling you now. It's as simple as that. Buy Bitcoin. Stop using fiat currency. That's the way it is. Right. Only use fiat currency if you're going to use cash transactions with other people. Um, so, basically, this is the price that you would pay after grading fee. And that's if you paid £5. Now, if you paid £7 for this card, if you graded it at 15 you're minus. You're minus, like, 40 pence. Yeah? You minus like forty pence, right? On the on the, so it, really, if you paid five pound for this card, you know, you're up one sixty one if you paid fifteen, right? And really, considering the amount of time, then you have to travel, you have to wrap it up, and write an address or print a label. You know, if you're printing a label to ship this thing off with, therefore you've got printer ink, you've got paper, you know, you've got, you see, you see what I mean? So this is why, I like, right. So let's just say, now, nah, let's say if you think that's worth it, right? This is why it's crazy, right? Because right now you could, like, let's say this. You could buy a Litecoin, right? A Litecoin. You know, I, I'm a fan of Litecoin, yeah. I think Litecoin's pretty sick, right? Litecoin, yeah. It's just, it's, I just put Litecoin, yeah, right? Um, how did I put it on? Oh, yeah. It's L-E-E, yeah. It's L-I-T-E, you know. L-I-T-E, yeah. Litecoin. Right. So let's say you buy Litecoin, right? Just as a crypto. You buy crypto at 108 pound, right? And you might have paid a 10p fee to buy at 108 pound if you're using it on like a pro site, yeah? Or like a trading site, yeah? Um, you know, on a centralized exchange, you use Coinbase Pro, maybe buy it on that and then move it, yeah? So you buy it on there and you move it off the exchange, yeah? Right, whatever. Now, you leave it on the exchange or whatever. It's up to you what you do, yeah. Then Litecoin, right? So let's say Litecoin, you wait three months, right? And say, let's say Litecoin goes to, I don't know, 220. 
Yeah, it's what it, I think, peaked at, yeah? 220. So then let's say you decide to sell, yeah, at 220. That means you obviously have to pay a fee, which might be, I don't know, £2 to sell it. Yeah? Right? You might pay £2 to sell it, but there's your margin already. Yeah, like 200 and, oh, 112 quid. Yeah, 112. Right? You know, or, well, yeah. But that would be your net. So this is what I mean. This is what it would be as you sold it. Yeah? But you've only got to make take that £2 off. So you would have made 110. Yeah? 110 quid. After after this is like, if it goes to the bank and you paid the £2 fee, whatever, minus the like 10p, you could put the fee in. That's a lot easier, right? You see, that's a lot easier to do crypto than it is to do Pokemon. Because look at the Pokemon you've got. You know, you've got eBay. You've got the time to go post the item. You've got bubble mailers you have to buy, which you go on eBay, and then you have to you have to click and buy the bubble mailers. Then you have to figure out the price of the car that you paid for it. Then you have to think, did it come from a collection or did you buy it? Then you've got to commit sit the grading fee. And then you've got the time to ship the item, to post it, to bike, to, or use a car, or to travel, or to use to... So really, on this £1.61, if you're using a pound of fuel, right, a pound of fuel to drive, right, or to travel, yeah, to travel, not to drive, right, because you're not doing commerce on the roadway, yeah? If you're not doing commerce on the roadway, you don't need no driver's licence, right? You don't need no, no straw man card. You don't need no straw man card if you're not doing commerce on the roadway, you're travelling from an A to B location, yeah? You don't need a driver's licence, right? So, for anyone who's thinking, well, what's he on about that? Like, you're mad, yeah? So, this is this is the type of thing I'm talking about. So, you're being left with, what, out of that, you get 61 pence, right? So, this is why when people say, oh, it's not worth it. Oh, it, oh, it's not worth it. Like, you know, you got to ask yourself, yeah, when you're selling these items, like, you're, you're submitting the price, right? So, for me to sell that at 28 quid... It's pretty cheap, right? You know, that's what I'm trying to say. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time. Peace.